Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Harry. Uh, Johannes, thank you for your compliments on my metal T-shirt. Uh, finished off, accessorized with my leather jacket. Mm, yes. Uh, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, obviously, following government health lines, uh, we can't do that without a mask and facing away from each other. Um, but uh, this is a quick one because uh, circuit leadership team at 7.30 and it can't be late. So... Uh, uh, and also the announcements are made that uh, yeah, from from kind of going forward, we're going to try and do this at seven o'clock wherever possible, uh, just so that those who have to be in bed by a certain time on school nights uh, or work nights uh, aren't too late and are able to join us. So it's awesome to have some of you people here. Hello, Joyce. Um, Just a heads up on tonight's question. What issues from the Methodist Way of Life and the Heading Service, what issues of injustice are you currently concerned about? Um, what are you doing in response? Uh, hello, Paul. It's okay if the answer is nout, because uh, part of chatting together might inspire us for things we can do, even small things. Uh, but together, in those words last night from Detritus, those raindrops become a flood. Uh, righteousness like a never failing stream. Let's uh, play some music while we contemplate that question and wait for people to gather. Don't worry, this is not the swaying music. This is where I got the idea for swaying music from when I wrote this bit, but it's a completely different piece of music, so don't worry, you haven't missed it. But you can still sway now. Classic heavy metal gallop. Hello, Brad. Thanks for the poo emoji, Ari, and also with you. As moon rises, the sun slips sight, begins the ritual of this night, for those convinced their path is right. Gathered from north, south, east and west, yet called at another's behest, those treading the path that is left. From near and far, come as you are to this place and embrace this space as darker hue embraces you. Hello, you. Of water, spirit, earth and fire, confessing the sins of empire, we come with our wounds and desire. Sensing that we are not alone, drawn to the flame that guides us home, for here, you, me, and yet to be. 
in portents and signs of these times, for the sake of all those maligned, is yet the home of the divine. Hello, Rachel. Get ready to bounce. Four, three, two, one, bounce. Bounce to Jesus, people. Bounce to the Lord. So, hello, Liam. Hello, Rachel. Uh, Ari, in addition to your poo emoji, thank you very much for not one, not two, not three, but four. Count them. Uh, four uh, poo-coloured heart emojis. That's made my day. Uh, yeah. So, wonder what sort of day you've had. Uh just before doing this, I had a phone call. That means I've got some stuff to lay down. Uh, and I pray for Grace. Uh, not not someone called Grace, but within myself. Um, Ari says, my dad is a twit, but a lovely one. Ari, you know your teachers watch this, don't you? Hmm. Yeah. The Miss Sergeant, too, head teacher. She watches. Hmm. I've just told them about your poo emojis. <laughs> or have I? Uh, yeah, so I had uh, some stuff now that I want to let down in terms of uh, stuff that's bubbling in me. So maybe you too need to just let go of some stuff from today and prepare to uh, relax and rest in God. Uh, what has been done is done. What is left undone is left undone. And that's okay. So we can say it together. The principalities and will to power, the worms from within my own darkest hour. I confess all the regress and the regrets, the burdens and the fears, the lament and the tears. <sighs> for all our frustrations and those of us, and for the sake of ourselves and others, we lay them down, and Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. May we experience that this night. So, a reading. Uh, sadly, I might be wearing my Metal Bible t shirt, but uh, I'm not reading from the Metal Bible as it hasn't got an Old Testament. I'm going to read from the Bible What is Metal? Um, this is to Samuel, just a bit of a, a backstory. Uh, this is from Samuel, and so they've had instructions on how to carry the Ark of the Lord. If you've seen Ark of the Covenant, that's what we're talking about. Um, but obviously, several thousand years earlier. Um, and uh, there are instructions not to put it on the cart, but you have to carry it by hand. And being human beings, they went, blimey, that's a bit hard. Let's see if we can put it on a cart, make it a bit easier. Uh, and then things go a bit, a bit wrong. Uh, so here we go. Um, starting at, uh, this is 8 to 10 of chapter 6 in 2 Samuel. But when they arrived at the threshing floor of Nacon, the oxen stumbled and Uzzah reached out his hand and steadied the ark of God. Then the Lord's anger was aroused against Uzzah and God struck him down dead because of this. Whoa, dude. Uh, so Uzzah died right there beside the ark of God. David, King David, was angry because the Lord's anger had burst out against Uzzah. He named that place Perez Uzzah, which means to burst out against Uzzah. Ari? Rebel. Oh, no, man, it came out. I didn't, I didn't actually burp them. Sorry. Perhaps I shouldn't burp whilst reading from the good book, but I thought it was better that than doing one down. No, it's coming. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Hello, Gemma. <clears throat> anyway, uh, David was now afraid of the Lord, and he asked, how can I ever bring the Ark of the Lord back into my care? Uh, 
So David decided not to move the Ark of the Lord into the city of David. Instead, he took it to the house of Obed-Edom of Gath. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this thing kills people. I'm not having it. Uh, I'll put it in somebody else's house. <laughs> um, mm. Hello, Rita. Hello, Neil. Um, so I know we've laid some stuff down, but I think that reading uh, is kind of cool because it, it, it brings up some human emotions. Uh, uh, one of those emotions is anger. Uh, so here's what Jeff Lucas, not Matt Lucas, uh, says, uh, a man is dead. The celebration has turned into a time of mourning and hasty preparations must be made now for a funeral. And all because the proper procedure for transporting the ark, carrying it by hand, not on a cart, were not followed. And David, the man in charge, is angry and afraid. Commentators have been nervous about conceding that David was actually angry with God because they say there are a few examples of humans being frustrated with the Lord in the Old Testament. Uh, and with Jeff Lucas, I disagree. Uh, Jonah was angry enough to want to sit under a tree and just want to die. Uh, he wouldn't do what God told him. Uh, his rage was directed towards God uh, because he wanted to, God wanted to save the people of Nineveh and Jonah thought they were a waste of space. Um, uh, and three prayers that most frequently occur throughout the Psalms can be summed up as why, how long. And that relates to the <laughs> conversation I had earlier on that's given me some stuff to lay down. How long and where have you been? Mm. Certainly sounds there are elements of anger in there. But David uh, eventually uh, attempts to bring the ark into the city of David. He pushed through his anger and did what he sensed was right. So... Jeff Lucas invites us to actually consider if we're angry with God, even at this point in time, but we are a little nervous about admitting it. Why not bring that anger into our worship and prayers and let God know that you're declaring what you have to believe, what you believe is true and what's in your heart. Even if you don't feel it or don't want to declare it, go ahead. God knows what's in, what's in your heart anyway, so you might as well be totally open. And I, I shared that uh, because of stuff that... Um, uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, Jesus probably burped. What did Jesus wibble? That's a bracelet I want to wear and have bought from a Christian tat stand. Mm. Uh, so here's a prayer before we say some more prayers, but I love this one. Enable me to be authentic in my relationship with you, God, even when that includes anger and frustrations with you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, we've talked a bit here about our anger towards each other or when we've been on the receiving end of, of, of judgment and rejection because of lifestyle uh music dress uh whom you love uh whilst following the latest government guidelines um yeah uh but actually yeah you know is it is it all right to be angry with god or to really say we, we don't get it, God, what, what you're playing at. Ah, the frustration, especially at this time, uh, as we buckle down for another six months um, and the continuing uh, balancing act of, of, you know, trying to do stuff, reduce risk. There's no such thing as totally safe, but we can reduce risk. But is that, what does that responsibility give to people? Uh, and if you don't do it, does that make others angry? Uh, and if you do do it and somebody gets ill uh, and then they're angry and they sue you, uh, all of that, you know, is real. So, God, how long is this going to go on for? Um, like in the Psalms is probably a good question for now. Um, yeah. So. Another thing that I think it's 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 all right to be angry about is is injustice uh, and that's what jesus kicked off about in the temple um it wasn't you know the fact that people were selling stuff or exchanging money in there it's the fact that the people doing it were charging extortionate rates and and basically ripping off the ordinary uh kind of working class jews who traveled as part of their you know to the to the temple at least once in the year in their life or whatever uh and they get there and they'd bring their pigeon to offer as a sacrifice and they'd go no no you can't offer that scabby pigeon uh buy one of our nice doves they're about a million quid 
uh, that that's you know all of that getting in the way of, of God's relationship with people. That's what God uh, Jesus kicks off about that injustice and exploitation. Um, so we're asked to consider from a Methodist way of life tonight. What issues of injustice are you currently concerned about, and what are you doing in response? So feel free to type in. Um, This is where I'm hoping this is just a delay between me saying stuff and you hearing it and seeing it on Facebook and that somebody might type something in. If you don't, it's fine. Um, concerned about is a good word, but maybe angry about. Um, it could be the way that we feel we've been treated, the way loved ones are being treated, as well as those bigger uh national or, or global issues um some might feel that uh restrictions are unjust uh, some might say uh <laughs> going out and gathering is equally unjust to other people homelessness yeah yeah absolutely absolutely Thank you, Liam. And uh, yeah, Harvest and thinking about food banks struggling, let alone the fact that we even need food banks in 21st century Britain. And um, it's become a norm um, that we're, we seem happy to accept, but that's that's OK in our society. Um, and it's good that we support them. Absolutely. But I think also let's, you know, alongside homelessness, you know, we saw what could happen during the initial lockdown um, and that uh, people still offered to seek support and have conversations with councils or government about allowing homeless people to continue staying in some of their hostels and their hotels that they run, certainly here in Sheffield. Um, but processes seem to get in the way. Um, so are we willing to, that's part of our response is to keep campaigning and chugging away and keeping those issues on, on you know, local and national government agendas. Yeah, and the injustice of prospects for people graduating and looking to find work uh, as furlough comes to an end with that new support, um, which I'm not sure I understand enough. As in, I haven't read enough about it to understand it, but uh, does that, how does that help that group having gone through university? I suppose all of us as response, we can pray, we can, if, we can, if it's okay to share some of the things that make us angry with God, uh, perhaps sharing some of those things amongst ourselves and talking about them is good. That's a response as is praying, uh, but maybe, you know, kind of campaigning, um, writing letters, talking to our MP, um, saying these, these, these issues, we, you know, you represent me. Uh, these issues are important in this particular area or because of what I believe. Um, if you're in the Methodist Church and enough of you think strongly about a certain issue, you can send memorials to conference. Um, that sometimes can lead to, well, can lead to votes and change. Um, yeah, um, I think each year there are memorials to conference about the situation uh, w regarding Israel and, and Palestine. So again, just keeping issues there on the agenda, regardless of, you know, whether you think, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not making any judgments about uh, either nation. Um, just saying that the you know the ongoing conflict and tension there, um, and of course, yeah, you know, the, the continuing refugee crisis, climate crisis. So may we encourage and strengthen each other in God to pray, to yeah, give money, give food time to things like food banks or, or charities supporting people who are homeless but also perhaps campaigning and speaking out um, when we think things are unjust and uh and maybe backing each other up when we, we feel we can maybe doing it together um is something uh, yeah yeah yemen absolutely yeah yeah well yeah the thing about coronavirus in yemen and saying no there are there are no cases, uh, despite the deaths alongside, uh, you know, 
armaments falling from the sky uh, dropped and purchased from uh, the British government and made in this country. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> And that's that's not a statement about this government. That's a statement about many British governments of different colours. Um, yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah, that tension between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Yeah. So maybe, you know, again on the international stage, it is through our MPs that we need to say actually, you know, please, British government and foreign minister, you know, speak out. Um, and this is what we feel is is just um, and we'd encourage you and back you and call upon you to speak out in those ways um, hello Ria hello mum so are there things that we want to pray about um, I think we want to pray for the things we've mentioned so for Azerbaijan and uh, Armenia for Yemen Israel and Palestine for graduates. Yeah, for those who are now facing evictions, um, even though lockdowns ease, the pandemic is still here. Uh, and food banks, those who are now homeless because they've been evicted. Um, the fact that we accept the need for food banks um, all right, I should be there in a minute, Sally. And continue to pray for Edna and her family, for D, for B. For those who are really frustrated if the local church isn't meeting and for those trying to balance and manage differing expectations um, for Johannes and the Metal Bible and uh, Metal House One Outreach and Nordic Mission uh, doing some frontline witnessing and uh, worshipping and, and stuff uh, in places where uh, many Christians would run away from or think that uh, you in some way have become possessed by the devil uh, whatever whoever the devil is uh, if you engage with that and so we can offer all of our prayers Typed in, spoken, felt, raged, sobbed to the one in whom all people and all creation have their being. May your kingdom come, your will be done, as above, so below. Sustain us for this day. Show us grace as we seek to show grace to those we feel have wronged us. Save us from the worst that is within us and within this world. And just a chance to think again about uh, those, those situations of injustice we've mentioned. And ask God to uh, prompt us, nudge us, kick us up the butt, <laughs> whatever it needs to, to, to be part of the answer to people's prayer on that through what we can do. Um, <clears throat> and we can do so in the sure and certain hope. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Harry, shut up. <laughs> Still here, Barry. Button it. No, no, I've got a whole bag of this down here. A whole bag of shit with your name on it, sunshine. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping this evening I'm not sounding like I'm in a witness protection program with like a voice changer going on. Uh, yeah, my audio interface has given up the ghost overnight, which is a real shame because I only bought it at the beginning of lockdown. Um, 
Um, but yeah, I think it sounded like a cross between something in the Witness Tech Protection Program and Darth Vader last night. Um, you know, hanging out with Ross Kemp and all that. Um, so let's send each other because I need to get into circuit leadership team and go to the toilet and make a cup of tea. Oh, too much. The pilot has turned on the too much information light. Sorry. So let's send each other. May the peace of the all parent be ours this night and with all people and all creation in the time that is here and still coming. And it will be fully one day and forever on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, yes. Heaven comes to this earth, God's home dwelling place will be with God's people oh yeah so let us jubilantly sway To, if you see Mark, uh, tell get Mark to tell Isla that Harry sends his love. Tell her yourself what you've asked slave die of Harry. Laters, potatoes. Sleep with everybody uh, and have a blessed Tuesday as through who you are and who you are in God, you bless others. Goodbye.